guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are talking about hype beasts. And okay, no, not your supreme, your off-white hype beast. This is more of your Balenciaga Dior hype beast. So let's start by defining what a hype beast is. So in my personal opinion, a hype beast is someone that buys and wears a brand to seek approval from others. Now we have formerly associated hype beast with the tacky and overpriced supreme box logos and the tasteless off-white belts and a lot of similar stuff. But what if I told you that they're actually high-end hype beasts? I've noticed recently that there's this fashion hierarchy that exists and I've noticed people that wear brands like Gucci, Dior, Hom, Balenciaga and Louis Vuitton look down on the wearers of the likes of Off-White and Supreme. And now while there's nothing wrong with wearing high-end brands that I've mentioned, but in my personal opinion, if the only brands you wear, you exclusively wear Gucci, Dior, Homme, Balenciaga, and Louis Vuitton, then looking down on the wearers of Off-White and Supreme to me is a bit hypocritical. Because like I said, the definition of a hype beast is someone that seeks approval from others in the way they dress. Now, in my personal opinion, if all you wear is the trendy high-end stuff, you know, the gimmicky high-end stuff or what's big. So now, if we think of what's trendy now, uh, you know, we can think of the Dior Homme oblique sneakers or the Dior Homme oblique shirt or the Balenciaga Triple S, you get my point. Now, if that's those are the only high-end brands you wear, you don't wear, you know, the, the better well-fitting, I don't know, Prada jackets, and you're critical of people that wear off-white and wear Supreme. And I've noticed these type of people look down on Supreme, and they're very quick to say, oh, all those people that wear off-white, all those people that wear Supreme, they're so tacky, they can't dress. But it's like, how are you any different? The only difference is you're wearing something that has the name that says Balenciaga, or you're wearing something that has the name Gucci. It doesn't make you any different if all you're buying is what's popular in the mainstream, those type of pieces. And I wanted to call it out because it's something I've seen a lot in fashion recently, and it's something I find hypocritical. Now, someone who I'm a big fan of and someone I listen to quite a lot, and someone I watch quite a lot, is someone that goes by the name of Denzel Dion. And the reason why I need to be very critical of him is he is a very, very good example of the point I'm trying to bring across. Now, someone like Denzel Dion, he's always critiquing other people's outfits. It's kind of what he does. But when you look at his style, the high-end pieces that he wears are all these popular, trendy, the Triple S, the Dior Oblique sneakers, the um, Dior Saddlebag. And it's just like, you feel like you have a superior style to these guys that wear off-white and supreme, but Denzel, I'm sorry, but you're no different. There's no difference. There's absolutely no difference. The only difference is the difference in the names of the brands and how people perceive them. But in terms of the specific pieces both of you are wearing, both of you are just wearing popular pieces, popular brands, just to let people know that, oh, I have the Triple S, so I must be stylish. Oh, I wear the Dior Oblique sneakers, so I must be stylish. Or I have a Dior Oblique shirt, I must be stylish. That's just not, I wouldn't say true fashion, because obviously we all know fashion is subjective. Uh, one man's food is another man's poison, so to speak. But I just personally feel like if the only high-end brand, the only high-end pieces you have are pieces that are trendy or that are the biggest in the trend, then I don't think you can look down on people that wear Supreme and look down on people that wear Off-White because you're essentially the same. I mean, think about it. There's so many fashion brands, so many. Like, just off the top of my head, there's Prada, there's Gucci, there's Balenciaga, there's Louis Vuitton, there's Andy Milamista, there's Rick Owens, there's Acne Studios, you know, there's Martine Rose, there's A Cold Wall, there's Grace Wells Bonner, there's Molly Goddard, 
there's Kom de Garçon, there's Issey Miyaki, there's Yoji Yamamoto, and there's also Y3. So there's so many brands that you can buy and you can wear that can give you a unique look that will make you look like, not, not look like everyone else, will make you look very unique. And there are some people that think they're these style gods and these style icons, but all you wear is the most popular high-end piece like out now. Like if the only high-end pieces you wear all the time are Dior Oblique sneakers and Triple S's and Jack Moose bags, I see right through it. I already know what type of person you are. I'm just in the back of my head. I'm like, oh yeah, that's just the high-end hype beast. Here they come again, feeling like they're superior to people that wear Off-White and Supreme. It's just hilarious to me. And it's something I wanted to talk about. But let it be known, like I've said, there's nothing wrong with wearing um, Supreme or Off-White, to be honest. Well, Off-White, actually, yeah, there is something wrong with wearing Off-White, but there's nothing wrong with wearing Supreme. Supreme does some really good stuff sometimes. Uh, they, they're a type of brand that could collab with anyone. They could collab with Prada tomorrow and it could be a really good collection. Um, also, there's nothing wrong with wearing brands like Gucci, Dior, Homme, Balenciaga, Louis Vuitton. There's nothing wrong with wearing the Triple S. There's nothing wrong with the Dior Oblique sneakers or the Dior Oblique shirt. And these are pieces that if I had money, I would buy myself. Um, I think what the problem is, is if everything you wear, all you wear, if I look at your Instagram feed and all I see is the Dior Oblique sneakers and the Balenciaga Triple S and nothing else, then that just tells me that you're a high-end hype beast. So there's nothing wrong with the brands you're wearing, but my point is more if that's exclusively what you wear, then you're a high-end hype beast and you need to rethink your life. <laughs> you need to rethink what you think a hype beast is and you need to stop acting like you're superior to people that wear Supreme and Off-White or Palace because you're not, you're the same. I think a big problem in fashion I've seen, especially now in the current day, 2019, is you have these influencers like Kim Kardashian who can't dress, they have no style, they have stylists, but even a stylist can't help them because their style still looks terrible. The only time I've seen a good outfit from Kim Kardashian is when she gets styled by someone else. So when, you know, uh, big celebrities, when they go to things like the Met Gala or they go to those type of events, they always have someone that styles them. So let's say they wear a Givenchy dress. That's the only time I've seen Kim Kardashian look decent. Her own style or when a stylist styles her, it just looks like expensive fashion over. It looks terrible. And the problem is because these guys are in the public eye, your Kendall Jenner's, your Kylie Jenner's, your Kim Kardashian's, people see this and start to believe that these type of guys are style gods and style icons. And it has this trickle down effect. And now everyone thinks that's what good style looks like. And that's why I have a big problem with it. I think on my channel, my goal when it comes to style and fashion is, I'm just trying to tell people about a wide array of brands so that you can go and do your own research and then find what works for you, what what brands cater to your body more, your body shape, or what brands speak to you more, what brands do you like the aesthetic of, what brands can you wear that aren't in the mainstream that means you look unique enough but at the same time you look trendy enough. That's kind of why I talk about so many different brands and so many different designers. Now, when you have all these huge influencers who have their little fashion halls and it's all full of all the trendy items, your off-white industrial belts, your Dior oblique sneakers, your Balenciaga Triple S, I don't think they add anything to the table because they're just telling you more about what you already know about. And I don't know, man, it's just personally, maybe I take fashion too seriously. Maybe I care a bit too much. Maybe I want to see the industry move forward and I'm tired of tacky fashion. Maybe I just think fashion influencers should do better. Maybe I feel like as a fashion influencer, and if you call yourself a fashion influencer and you call yourself Mr. Um, my style is the best. I know everything about fashion. My full-time job is a fashion influencer. Maybe I feel like you have a responsibility to learn about more brands. Maybe I feel like 
you should broaden your horizon of fashion knowledge if your full-time job is about fashion or in the fashion industry. Maybe I'm asking too much of people. Maybe I'm being a bit too, I'm expecting too much of fashion influencers, but is this my personal opinion? I feel like if you call yourself a full-time fashion influencer, you're an influencer. What are you really influencing if all you wear is what's trendy and you know what most people are wearing anyway i don't think you have any influence if you're doing that i think if you're an influencer you introduce people to brands that just aren't in the mainstream but are doing something good when i think of people that do that i think of people like you know sanjeev who wears a wide array of brands you see sanjeev wearing hyderakaman when Calvin Klein under Ras Simmons, you see him wearing Andy Milamista, all different brands that aren't mainstream. But at the same time, he does also wear mainstream brands. So that's an example of where someone can wear the mainstream things, but they're not a high-end hype beast because you can see that they mix it up and they really only bought the... Someone like Sandeev, if he was to buy the Triple S, you could clearly tell that he's buying the Triple S because he likes the design and likes the way it looks and likes the way it goes with other things he could wear with the Triple S. As opposed to someone who only wears Triple S's, Dior Oblique sneakers, Dior Oblique shirt, um, you know, off-white industrial belts and thinks they're a style icon because they don't wear Supreme Palace patter. I don't know, man. It's just something I've seen and it's something that gets on my nerves especially when I see uh, people feeling like they're above certain people when I look at what they wear and that's exclusively what they wear. But what do you guys think? What's your opinion on what I've said? Um, if you disagree, comment down below why you disagree. If you agree, obviously still comment down what you think about high-end hype beasts and like people thinking they're superior to others because they wear popular high-end brands. Um, and yeah, on that note, this is the Fashion Archive. I talk about fashion as my channel name suggests. Um, stay tuned for more videos. Like I said, I'm not posting very frequently because I have exams at the moment. But after exams, you guys know I'm coming with some absolutely fire videos. And yeah, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're new. Stay tuned for more. And I'll be back soon.